Watch you guys got another video here for you. If you want to find out how to quickly record and capture your computer screen in Windows 10, then this video is for you. This one is Rec Experts by ESUS. This is a sponsored video. So this is a brand new piece of software that has just been released. And I'm going to show you exactly what you can actually do with this software. Now, Capture software has been around for a long time. There's quite a few choices available on the market. And this one is a brand new piece of software by ESUS. Now there's quite a few different types of software available out there and some of them can be very expensive. Now this one I think is quite uh, affordable and we're gonna take a look at what it has to offer. So let's get this installed and open it up and see what you can actually do with this piece of software. So this is your control panel, which is what you're gonna be using to do your recordings. So it's got some little uh, text on the screen there which shows you what to do. You've got a big red record button there. You've got your webcam on the front, your system and microphone, and also your full button there, which is to capture the full screen. First, let me just put in my registration key here because this is paid software, so you will need to uh, buy the software. It's not going to be free. So here is the prices for the piece of software. If you're going to buy something like this and use it all the time, I'd advise you to get the full lifetime upgrades, which is a once off payment of $69.95. That makes sense to me. And that'll be for one license for one computer with lifetime free upgrades uh, of their software there. So let's take a look at the software and see what it has to offer. So this is the actual software. Once you've purchased it, you will get your license key uh, for whatever version you've bought, and then you can then start using uh, the software. So let's go and have a look at the actual uh, settings and find out what this can do and what it can't do. So you can capture your webcam here, and you can also capture and record the screen, record the audio, record your webcam, and record games as well. And also, what you can do is record your system sound and your microphone or just record your microphone or record without any audio whatsoever it's entirely up to you what you want to record you can also change your uh, inputs here for your microphone so whether you've got a different microphone to uh, the built-in one on your laptop say or whatever it is you can change it up here and select the microphone and your sound that you want to record noise cancellation and audio boost is available there as well and also you do have that webcam here if you have a webcam uh, plugged in you will get that on your screen Looking at the video list here, this is where all your videos will be recorded and stored. You'll be able to see them all listed down there as well. And we've got some other icons on there, which is auto stop off and task scheduler off as well. Let's take a look at some of the settings. So this is where you're gonna put your video output to where you wanna restore all your videos. You've also got your format, which is gonna be MP4. You can change the frame rate right up to 60 frames per second. I'm gonna just stick that on 30. And also you've got uh, your bitrate here and also your codec, which is two H264, or you've got the MPEG-4. They're the two options there. Quality can be standard, high, or original. And then you've got your audio, which is your output for MP4. You can change the bitrate to that right up to 256 as well. And again, the frequency is there as well if you want to change the frequency. The screenshot, output will be JPEG or you can change it to PNG or whatever it is you want to change it to and then moving on down to video here these will be all the settings that you've just set in place and again same thing for the audio there's a couple of extra things inside here which you can change which is to do with the record the mouse clicks so if you want to record mouse clicks you can do to get that uh, mouse click sound and you can also put a little area around your pointer so for instance if you want to be nice and clear because sometimes it's very hard to see that little mouse pointer you can put a little color there to let them be able to see that and uh, you can change the size of it by pulling this little slider along here as well which is a nice added feature now also you can have little circles showing up when you record your mouse click so that would be your left button will be red and your right button will be blue you can have that feature on as well and again, I wouldn't have the color around your little pointer on as well as the right click and left click mouse buttons because that can get quite confusing. The zoom area you can change here and you can also 
change a lot of the other areas here like auto split recording uh, which will be when it reaches 60 minutes or whatever you want to set that to you can put that feature on and change that if you wish here and have it split into different uh, sizes here you can have the bleeps to start recording and a bunch of other settings inside here as well which you can mess with so that is in the recording section you also have a hotkey section so stop start all that sort of stuff you can do that through your hotkeys and get that all set out here you can choose whatever key you like to stop and start recording so that's quite a useful little feature there again you've got floating toolbar there you've got your upload section here if you want to upload you can set that up here and you've also uh, got these little buttons on the side here which allows you to go to exactly the area you want to rather than scroll through everything so it's entirely up to you how you go about doing that you can run the program at startup here and also run as administrator and then you've got your main panel and your language and there's quite a few different languages depending on where you are in the world take a look at those and if it's your country then you'll be able to use this piece of software so that is the main settings area there and all you need to do then is click the big red record button once you do that you'll get a countdown timer and it will start recording the uh, screen there down the bottom right hand side you'll have this little panel here and this little panel is where you can do your spotlight your zoom in and out and also take a snapshot and you also have annotate there as well and there's these other little areas here which allow you to do a bunch of different functions on the screen as well so if you're in some sort of conference and you want to point something out you've got a little a pen tool here which you can draw on which is quite nice and useful now to remove those you just right click on your mouse and it will remove those from the screen which is quite useful now that is the brush tool there but you've also got your normal standard mouse pointer here so if you don't want to do any of that stuff on the screen you can just use this to uh, navigate around and it will record the screen just as you would do normally then you've got your brush and pen tool here this is your pen tool and uh, obviously you can uh, draw on the screen as well and right click and remove that as well and we've also got some other areas here which is like lines so if you wanted to do some lines on the screen you can do that as well and right click and remove those we've got some arrows if you want to point to certain things uh, you can do that as well which is very useful and saves time when it comes to editing and also you've got your little boxes that you can put around things as well so you can do all that while you're recording same thing for circles if you need to highlight something with a red circle you can do that as well and then you've got your little numbers here which is your little number buttons you can add in so if you wanted to go first do this then this and then this you can put one two three and so on onto that area there so it's very simple and easy to do when you're trying to show people stuff you've got your little text box here if you want to add some text in there you can add in some text let's just put that in there and if you want to make the text a bit bigger you can also do that as well by just going here and changing the size of it just that simple very simple and easy to do and if you want to remove that you can do and just hit the delete key and it will remove that from there now you've also uh, got this area here which allows you to do whiteboard as well and if you wanted to do that you can just to remove it you just right click again and it removes that whiteboard there you've got your color here in case you want to change the colors you can do there's your color palette just in case you want to change colors for things you can change all your colors up and that is there as well and this is your undo button here to undo whatever you is that you want to undo and that is the menu system there for your screen capture very very useful and if you are doing tutorials or you want to get into screen capture stuff then this piece of software will be available shortly and again it will record all of the screen movements as you see here and your audio will be recorded and you can even record the background audio for the computer so if you had on the background of the computer audio you wanted to record you can do that as well as your audio as well which is very very useful now software like this is very expensive and there's companies out there that will charge quite a bit of money for software like this and I think the price point that this is coming in at is pretty good especially if you use this type of stuff for tutorials like I do so it can be a very much better cheaper option than some of the ones like say Camtasia Studio which is quite expensive so in my personal opinion it's pretty affordable and it's well worth a look especially if you're looking for some sort of capture software so let's take a look at the editing side of things well you can only do minor edits in here if you want to do some sort of full editing 
like you would with say other software you would need to purchase some editing software and ESOS do have their own video editing software as well you can preview uh, the uh, video that you just created and you can also compress it as well so this is the video we just recorded here you can play this full screen and it's quite high quality no stutters or shuttering or anything like that it's a really nice quality picture and you could upload this to YouTube or any other platform that you choose to upload it to. And the good thing about the compression is that if you needed to send this via email to someone that you wanted to give tech support to, you could quite easily compress this right the way down and send it via email, which is very useful as well. So let's close that off. And let me just show you some other areas here that you've got. So again, you can share this on YouTube, Vimeo and uh, Google Drive and whatever it is you want to do it to Dropbox FTP you can also do other things with it now again I did mention about compress you can compress the file as well you can see it's already pretty small 9.2 megabytes and if you want to compress that right down you can go low and compress that all the way down which is a nice feature as well so you've got your delete button here you've got your opening folder here as well you've got your share and also your edit now use that term edit a bit loosely because there's not a lot of editing to this piece of software it's basically quite limited and uh, all you can do is crop basically and uh, there's a couple of little bits you can do but that's just about it so you can basically add a watermark in here and also intro and outro you can add in and that's just going to be about it that might be enough for some people uh, but if you want to go full on you're going to need some sort of editing software to add more stuff to it but a good thing about this is you can add all your little annotations in and stuff like that without having to uh, go into the editing software that's probably why that is there in the first place which makes it a bit more useful uh, in that sense but other than that you can see here um, you've got some basic needs here i.e just to crop it a little bit and if that's what you need to do you can do you can add in your watermark you can add your image in or you can put in your text inside here but the main purpose of this software is capture software now you can pretty much capture the screen for free with OBS and other pieces of software out there but you can't do uh, some of the things that this software can do which is add in annotations and, and draw live on the screen and things like that anyway if you're interested I'll leave the links in the video description this video has been sponsored by uh, ESUS Rec Expert my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching and I shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.